Eric's guitar. Eric's guitar, he picks his guitars for everybody in town. We're going to do a setup on a guitar with a combo tailpiece. It acts as a bridge and the anchor for the string. The string on this bridge goes through the front, pulls all the way through to the back, and when we get it on the guitar, it's going to wrap back around the front and lay over that adjustable saddle. Now is a good time to adjust the screw down machines on your tuning pegs. Little turn, those all feel good. They're all in good shape. Let's get the strings on. Again, very basic. Push it through the post, inch and a half, bring it back through. Quarter of a turn, crimp the string. Bring the slack slide underneath the plain side of the string. Crimp it over the top. Pull the string tight and tune it up. Get it in tune. We need to supply full tension to the neck before we check the truss rod. We're going to use the capo to hold the string down on the first fret. I'll use my right hand to hold it down on the 16th fret and measure the gap in between. And we definitely do not have enough curvature. I cannot fit my feeler gauge under the string. We got to loosen that truss rod. It is too, the neck is too straight. Take some of the pressure off of the rod. Check it again. We've gone a little too far. Put a little more pressure back on. That's where we need to be. That looks great. The action on the guitar is very high. There's no reason for that. So we'll bring the bridge posts down. Let's set the intonation on this guitar. We're going to tune the open E and then check the 12th fret and we're going to see that it does reach sharp. So we want to pull the saddle back. It needs to go further back to flatten that string. Back that saddle goes. Let's double check it. Retune. 12th fret. That looks good. We're going to do the same for every string. We'll do the top E. It is sharp. Let's pull the saddle back. Flatten that 12th fret octave note. Retune. Recheck. A little bit more should do it.